Hello, hello, and welcome back to Studio Rain. Um, I, today, am going to do a little, something a little different. I'm going to show you what I'm packing in my traveling art studio. Yes, it's not just a bag. <laughs> it's not just a kit. This has so much stuff in it that we're just going to count this as a traveling art studio. And uh, the reason I have packed so much stuff is I'm going away for about two weeks with my family, and... Uh, there'll be lots of downtime, lots of pool time, lots of boys playing video games. And then there's the mornings when everybody's sleeping in till 1 o'clock because they stayed up so late the night before. So <laughs> I know how these trips go and normally I, um, I read a book or I waste time watching TV. But this time I said I'll be a little more intentional because I really want to do some art journaling and I want to do some... Um, some healing work. I need to uh, process some things, and and I have found that um, probably most of you know this, but when you do art journaling, when you connect your heart and your hands and your head all in one process, um, you have this ability to work through a lot of stuff. And so I'm really excited about taking all of my stuff and uh, making a little corner in our uh, timeshare. That's going to be my little art studio and getting to work. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you about the bag and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to take a, um, um, some shots of the bag. You can see the outside. Then I'm going to take everything out of the bag, show you what's in the bag. We'll show you what's in the contents of the bag. So sidebar, I packed this bag and I'll probably tell you about it. I packed bags inside of bags for the sole purpose that if I wanted to go to the pool side, I could just grab my journal and my pens and I could work. So, nevertheless, let's talk about the bag. So, the bag is called the Soho Urban Artist Bag. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. The there we go. The Soho Urban Artist Bag. And I got it from Jerry's Artorama. And it was on sale for $29. It was regularly like $59. It was on sale for $29. No coupon needed in today's date when I made this video was June 16th. So hopefully you'll still be able to get it on sale. And if not, you know, it's a good bag. It's worth the $60. Totally worth the $60. It has so much stuff in it. And again, I'll just say where I got it from, jerryartorama.com. It's called the Soho Urban Artist Bag. Okay, let's take a look at the bag. Okay, so this bag... It, as you can see, is stuffed to capacity. Um, it has a number of pockets on the sides. I have squeezed in some distress ink on the sides, and I've put in um, some of these containers that you get from Michael's or Joann's. They're normally for for pictures, but I have put some cardstock in this one, and I have invested in the five by seven, the big size, and I have some tools and stuff. And I'll take all that out, but I just want to show you the outside. It comes with a strap. It comes with a strap, a nice sturdy strap. And and it also has a handle. And I just kind of clip my little clip on the outside of the handle. And the other side has pockets just like the front. What I really liked about it was it zipped on the top. So that, so that way I knew I could stuff stuff inside and it'd be safe. But I could also use all these pockets on the side. And there you have it. So that is the bag. Let me just show you so you can see all the sides. It's really heavy so I can't just like throw it around but that's the bag. It's a great bag. Okay now let's look at you are gonna be amazed at how much stuff I have in. I'm gonna lay it all out and then go through each of what I have packed and why. Okay. Okay so this is this pile of goodies. Here is what is on the outside of my bag. Um, and all the pockets and all the surrounding spots. So let me show you what I have. I have, I have packed a um, some letters, an alpha set, and in here I have some clear stamps. I think these are the Bow Bunny stamps, but they're very um, like paint splatters, bubble wrap, some patterns. So they're very friendly, easy to use. Um, clear stamps and I have them in one of those little studio calico satchels um, and that was just folded up on the outside of one of my things okay I have so my plan is 
to I have a color scheme picked out so that would that help the process I did sit down and write a list before I gathered anything first but my color scheme was um, if you think about the distress ink they have the colors they have the um, the hot pink which is the pickled raspberry and it has the uh, I think I have some of them here yeah so I went with this is my color scheme here um, this this pickled raspberry, the spice marmalade, the peacock feathers, the mustard seed, and very bright and vibrant colors was my color scheme. But it was, I wanted to stay very bright, very happy, very upbeat in my colors. And so this is my little box of ink. And I bought one of these 5 by 7 photo cases and stored it in there. But I just have in here some of the, um, the little mini mini distress inks and some mini neon inks. I have a stays on which of course you have to have and then I have the brilliance. I love the brilliance white and I love the brilliance gold and silver so I brought them too. Okay so those are my inks. Um, because purple is in my is in my color scheme I did pack a big purple and I have to have my black soot um, distress ink for edges and whatever. This is one of my favorite tools that's why I went and bought a brand new one because I had I go through these a lot. Okay, so I also really like for Mimix Media these little roller things. I have a big collection, but I try to figure these were small and they don't take up much space. These are by Glitz Designs, and I have you know a couple of them here. Um, just a couple, some crowns, some weaves, some paint splatters, and some patterns. Okay, and then I have uh, liquid pearls. I like to mention on in my art journals, and so I have a couple colors of liquid pearls. They just go on the outside. I have this really cute um, watercolor set I picked up at Walmart for like five dollars. I couldn't believe it. It was regular twenty, and it was like five. So of course I had to get that, and it just sits on the side. And um, this little neo color one container doesn't have neo color one in it and it has my top neo color two colors that I want to use that go along in my color scheme but I'm just going to use this container so if I can figure out how to open it <laughs> so it has all my colors so those are my that's my color scheme right there happy bright bold colors and these are my neo neo two colors um, that I plan to use so that's what's on the outside I have some collage elements I just cut up some paper uh, lots of uh, like basic gray and script papers that I can change and alter the colors. But I put it in one of those photo cases, the 4x6 one. I have these um, texture tools that got from Walmart. Thank you for the uh, the insight uh, to get these, Shelly. They were a great find at Walmart. And so, literally, I have a little box, a 5x7 box, and it has my little texture tools in it. And uh, when I'm painting, I've got lots of little texture tools. Doesn't take up much space, and there you go. And then this little bag of tricks is truly a bag of tricks. <laughs> it has, again, one of my favorite uh, tools. These little um, stamp, you know the so easy things, but they make the stamp. And I have the two line stitch here. Sorry, it's not focusing. That's better. I have the two line stitch. Anyway, let me tell you what else is in here so you don't get we don't get stuck on that. That's not really the point of that of this box. I have um, some extra brushes. I'm a big fan of the Martha Stewart brushes. I have lots of brushes, but I really like the Martha Stewart brushes, and I like them because of the weight of the brush and the smoothness of the handle. It just it just feels good while you're painting, and the br and the brushes the brushes are really good quality. But you're going to see more brushes later. I just really like to use these with stencils. Love to use these with stencils. And um, these are two of my favorite brushes that I use all the time. So <coughs> never leave home without those. <laughs> and let's see what else we got in here. I don't want to go into too much detail because well, this video will be forever, right? So I have, oh, I'm sorry. I have my um, Derwent Ink Tints uh, uh, crayons that you add water to and they're really vibrant. And I have, again, just picked out some of my favorite colors that goes with my bright um, and bold color scheme. And then, of course, I have my my glue sticks. And I have a pencil, a couple pencil sharpeners, too. And I have the black and white neo color in here. I also have some erasers. And then I have some sketching pencils. And I have some um, daubers 
uh, for using my Distress ink, and that would be what's in, that's everything that's on the outside of my container. Okay, so here we have my bag. Ah, perfect. All right, here we have my bag, and excuse me why I put my, my thing on my neck so I can have some kind of stabilization. Here's the bag, open, and I'm just going to throw these things out. So that's a bag of stamps, another bag of stamps, a little bag of texture items. I'll go tell you what's in there. Another bag, <laughs> another bag, my water cup, another bag, uh, or this is my brushes, my brush roll. And I have these two little bags here. These are from the fabric store, Joanne Fabric Score. They're actually for uh, quilters, traveling bags for quilters, but they're wonderful pin holders. Got two of those. Got two of those. I have this uh, these stencils in a in a in a paper thing. And again, another bag of pens. And then I have this cosmetic bag <laughs> anyway here's everything that was in the bag spread it on the floor and now I'm going to take you through each of the each of the pieces all right this first piece is a cosmetic bag that I picked up from Walmart and in the top I have my watercolor brushes and markers and so I have some sponges and I have some Q-tips. And I have a whole collection of these wonderful uh, water brush markers. They are amazing. They're the Ben Fang uh, water brush markers by Speedball. You can get them on Amazon, but they are amazing. So if you like water brushing or water brush, if you like to watercolor, excuse me, then these are great water brushes. Um, they're a little hard at first to figure out, but once you figure it out, they're wonderful. And so the basically, just in case you just want to know, uh, you have to take off this little ring that it comes in, and and then you have to take the female part and the male part and snap it back together and <laughs> once you do that uh, the paint will start to ooze out and so I have a collection of those I also have these um, water pens by um, Derwent who makes I'm sorry you can't see sorry and um, these water pens by Derwent who makes the uh, ink tents they make a fine point a chisel point and like a medium point water uh, pen and they're empty right now uh, and so that's what's up on the top here Now, I all, what I also have is paint. I love to paint. And I love a lot of colors. But you can't really travel with a whole lot of color unless you invest in these. And, you know, it's funny because I see these all the time. And I never, and I was like, who would buy that little bit amount of paint? That's what, <laughs> that's what I always said when I saw them. I was like, who buys those? I mean, it's like for kids. Nobody buys those. Well, now I understand why you do buy them. They're great for traveling. So for $2.99... Or something about that you get all these great little colors right so I have those stuffed in there and then I have all of my I don't have all I have my color scheme of distress paint so again remember I said my color scheme was pink and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple all kinds of bright colors I have them all stuffed in here so this is my paints are all in here and the reason why I really like this bag is because you have a zipper so if by chance one of these paints is loose I don't mess up everything, I just mess up the paints. Okay, so that's what's in that one. And I will, sorry to watch me stuff them back in here. I'll go back and make them everything neat later because it definitely won't fold up <laughs> if it's not neat later. Okay, so in this next part, I had fun uh, trying to find creative ways to um, pack my medium so I could take them. So I went and got these little traveling kit bottles and if by chance I ever wanted to take these on a plane, they are all three ounces or less. So here's clear gesso. And um, 
this is actually, uh, what is it? Collage Podge. Oops, can't see it, can't see it. This is actually Collage Podge Glossy. And I have some brush cleaner because you definitely need brush cleaner. At least I do. I make nasty brushes. And I have um, some Collage Podge Matte. I have some gesso. I have some gesso. And I even have some modeling paste. Yay! And I put it in one of these little baby jars because that travels easy. And I think, oh, I'm sorry. I also have some white paint and some black paint. Yeah, I have some white paint and I have some black paint. Um, let me just really quick try to make this look kind of neat so that it packs up real fast. Okay. And zip that piece up. And then the last section, I have, um, a lot of people don't really like the stains. I love the stains. They're great for quick backgrounds. And so I have a lot of stuff in this section. Let's just pull some things out. I have, um, the studio, uh, Claudine, Claudine Helmuth. She makes these, um, miniature things. So I have some slow dry medium. I have some retarder. I have some black gesso. I have some regular gesso. I have an empty mister that will get sure put water in early. I have a number of these distress stains and all the cool colors in my little color um, uh, color scheme. I didn't bring all of my or a lot of the distress ink inkers. I just bought the two that I really love, and that's the Peacock Feathers and the Pickled Raspberry. Love those two colors. Probably my two favorite colors. I bought some silks because I like to play with them. <laughs> but I only bought like two. Um, and then I bought some... I bought some um, Golden Neon Paint. I love this paint. And so I just got the two big jars of it. And that would conclude what's in this thing. So I have a whole lot of stuff in this one little container. And you know, if push came to shove and I could only take one thing, I could probably get away with just taking just this cosmetic bag because there's so much stuff in it. You could really do everything you need to do with this, this, this bag. But since we have more space in the bag, I brought more stuff. So let's go with these cool bags here. These bags are called OmniGrid bags, and I left the tag on just for you all, and it's called a multi-tool roll. I found it in Joann's over in the quilting section. Okay, now why I like this is kind of like my cosmetic bag, in that it unwrap, unrolls, and you got sections. You got sections of goodness. <laughs> so all I have in this one literally are my pit, my um, Faber-Castell, pit markers in, in my colors, in my bright, vibrant colors. So I have greens and oranges, and I won't take them all out because then i got to put them all back in. But, you know, I have my greens and my oranges and my pinks in my big pits. Love them, love them, love them. Um, again, I can grab this bag and go poolside and just color. And then in the top, I do have a couple of the... Um, Fabric Castell crayons only because I had saw this cool uh, resist technique that I figured, hey, if I get bored and want to try something, a couple little crayons that won't really make or break the won't really make or break my luggage. Okay, so that's one, and then the other one, again another Omni Grid bag. It has even more markers and goodness. Woo! <laughs> So in this bottom section, I've got um, these painter markers. Love them. They're great for details. I've got, of course, my happy color scheme going. Um, it's funny because I like the color red, and I have packed no red. That is hilarious to me. But, you know, that doesn't fit my color scheme, so I, I couldn't bring it. I've got some um, gelatos in our color scheme packed. Yay. And I have probably six or seven or eight or something. <laughs> Yeah, here are all the gelatos I packed, all in my happy colors. And clearly, I need to rethink how I'm traveling with these doohickeys because they are making a mess. These oil pastels 
might get left home because they are really making a mess and I don't like messes. So we're going to take them out for now and decide what's the best way to pack those. Probably inside a Ziploc bag. But anyway, in this middle section, I have um, thanks to Shelly for creating a, a, another addiction. <laughs> I have uh, gel pens and... And again, my cool, my, my happy color collection, a bunch of gel pens, and I have uh, pulled out just the colors in the distress markers that are in my color scheme. So this is actually where I started from. I started, here is my color scheme. And... Don't ask me how that red got in there. I knew a red would find its way <laughs> somewhere in my thing. But here is um, my color scheme, except for the red. Really, the red is just, I don't know how it got there. It just, apparently, it, I'm drawn to red, and it found its way into the collection. But that's my color scheme, and so that's what I tried to limit myself to was those colors, stuff in those colors. So I have Distress Ink markers in there, and then I have gel pens in this middle section. Okay, and last but not least in this section are what we all love and need and can never get enough of. I've got my black pit pen. Yay! Love, need, must have at all times black pit pen. And I have a bunch of different sizes of the smaller ones for journaling and detail work. And then I have a bunch of different white pens, and I don't see my whiteout pen, but that's okay, because I have lots of other white pens in here. <laughs> I've got a Sharpie white, a Big Pit white, and a Painter's white, and that's pretty, probably all I really need. I probably could get away with just packing one, but you got this compartment. You might as well fill it up, right? <laughs> okay, so that concludes the second one of these um, bad boys. All righty. Now, real quick, because this is kind of easy, this is a, uh, a brush roll that I found at Walmart for like $4, and I filled it with my favorite brushes. Yes, I like Martha Stewart brushes. I really do. I think they're, they're really great. I love the handle. I love um, the way they feel. I love the thickness. I really do like these. I have tons of other brushes, but and when I'm when in doubt, I go to these brushes, so when in doubt, that's what I packed. I'm also a big fan of these um, brush sticks. They're great for like smudging stuff, um, distress ink. And I think right now what I have on here is some micro, uh, not some some. Um, what is that stuff called that I like? I like to play with the silks. I love playing in my silks, and I like playing in my H2Os. And these are great for that kind of stuff. And just on me, I don't have any H2Os packed, but that's okay. <laughs> don't need to pack everything, right? Just what I really, really need. <laughs> yeah, right. I have packed so much stuff. Okay, so this is just my water cup. It's great. It, it's compact. You just open it up, fill it up with water. When you're done, empty it out, pack it back up. It's really great. Faber-Castell makes this little thing. And this little bag of goodness and I have to go slow with this one because i got to make sure everything gets back in here. But this is, has lots of my texture goodies in it. So, let me show you what's in here. I've got some, like, styrofoam. It makes, it makes good patterns. And I've got uh, some bubble wrap. And I've got some painter's tape. And I've got a trash bag. <laughs> And I've got a different size uh, bubble wrap, a smaller size, and I've got a big size of bubble wrap. And I have some wax paper folded up to put in between my pages. And then I have um, a bunch of little punchinellas that I cut up uh, to just so that I can travel with them in smaller sizes, little small pieces. Um, will I use all of this stuff? Probably not. But I, do I like having a lot of stuff with me so that I can feel uh, creative and have options? I love options. So that would be probably why I have packed so much stuff. So let me try to make this neat. Again, 
and I'm put the punchinella on this side away from the bubble wrap so that it doesn't destroy the bubble wrap. And we'll put the big one. And it's definitely a little different than it was before, but that's okay. <laughs> and I put it in my little Ziploc bag. Let me just put it all in here somehow. Try to get it in here. And I'll make it neat and pretty off camera. I will do that because I don't want to waste your time while I'm making stuff neat. But now, okay, I'm not going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to save the best for last. Okay, so this here <laughs> is, um, when I'm in my craft room, in my studio, the two things that I, I always need are my craft mat and my old diapers that I use. They've never been used on a butt. <laughs> but they're old. I buy the diapers from Walmart in the Walmart in the diaper section. The cloth diapers. Cut them in half. They are great for, um, you know, you get your hands dirty. You don't want to keep going to the bathroom to wipe them. Or you spill something. And you just need to get it up. Yeah, you can say I can use paper towels. But, you know, then you gotta, then you got to travel paper towels. I can just travel with this. Get it all nasty and grungy and smudgy. And put it in here and throw it out. Right? Okay, so that, now I will tell you that the box for the craft mat says do not fold. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, so here is the fun bag. I had so much fun making this bag here. I love Delusions ink, spray inks, but who can travel with that many inks? And so what I did was um, put together some mini delusions. I do have some gloves in case, I don't know. Maybe I have to go somewhere and I painted my nails or something. I don't know. But I just packed them in case it gets really messy. And so I filled my mini misters with my color scheme of delusions. So I have a tangerine and a fuchsia and a lime and a turquoise and a grape. All in mini misters so I can spray. And... Hold on, I'm going to tell you what those are in a minute. I'm going to tell you what those are in one minute. Let me take out some other... Oh, up, up, I got one more mini mister here. And it is sunshine. And yes, I did take the time to label them because then I know what they are. <laughs> okay, so then, because I'm a big fan of the lady who makes the, the, the delusions. I can't think of her name right now, and you all know who she is. But she uses her delusions, she puts them in water brushes so that she can like write with them. Kind of like those water brushes I showed you earlier. And so I filled up my water brush pins in some of my favorite colors. So I have a fuchsia, and I have a turquoise, and I have a tangerine. But my most important one is my black. I use this one all the time. It's great for outlining. It's great for little details. It's, you really should try these. <laughs> I actually use and um, spend the money and buy the uh, Ranger brand only because they really do seal up tightly and they really, you really can't control the amount of ink that comes through. If not, I would use the other ones that cost less, but you know, sometimes you get what you pay for, right? Especially when it comes to art supplies. So, that is what's in my fun bag here. Probably my favorite bag. Oh, one more thing. I bought these little um, Adirondack alcohol ink fillable pens. And on well, my last project, I used them. And love them! So what you do is you take your uh, uh, alcohol ink and you put it in here. And now you have... And I don't want to make a mess. You have um, a marker. You have a, uh, was that a brush tip? And a fine point. Is that not the coolest of the ink? And so you can color, do detail work, doodle, whatever you want to do with those. Okay. So that was my fun bag. I really had fun making that bag. I probably should have put some color shine in there, but I only had so many mini misters. You know what I mean? Okay, and last but not least are some of my heavy body favorite color um, Liquitex paints. They probably should be in the other bag with the paints, but they got stuck in here and we're all happy because we had some space. And so that would conclude, almost, <laughs> look, almost, that's what's in this bag. And we'll close this bag up. 
and put it to the side. But now we have three more things and we'll be done. Okay, so these great canvas bags I got from Michaels. I should have bought every one that they had, but I didn't and I regret it. Um, as you know, my name is Queen Pandora. I love crowns, so anything crown I love. But I, I bought like eight of these. I should have really should have bought all they had. But anyway, nevertheless, I store lots of goodies in here. <laughs> and so in this bag, I have lots of yummies. I've got rubber stamps. And I probably shouldn't have it so packed because that one doesn't look too happy, does it? <laughs> so I've got rubber stamps. And I've got like, you know, doodles. Lots of rubber stamps in here. Let me scoop this back so you can see. That's better. Okay, so I've got rubber stamps and I've got scripts. I can't leave home without my scripts. Love my scripts to the point where I even packed my script roller. Woo! And I've got some Claudine um, Helmuth Her Foam stamps. Love these. The details on these are amazing. With paint, with ink. I've got my one rolling arm to go with those other four rollers that I showed you. I've got more of the Claudine helmet. I've got my favorites by Robin uh, Marie Smith. Her. So apparently, I, I didn't get all that. So you guys saw me tell you about my favorite Robin Marie Smith stamps. Yeah, so okay, we'll just go through here real quick. I've got some um, Claudine helmet stamps. And I've got uh, my roller to go with those four other that I showed you earlier. I've got some more Claudine. I've got some more rubber stamps. Got to have my rubber stamps. Got some more Claudine. Got these African ones that I got online. Um, I think I got them on Etsy, but they're way cool. Aren't they cool? Yeah, yeah. And that's what's in there. Lots of rubber stamps. And I won't try to make it pretty now. I will wait to go off stage. I mean, um, off camera. And make that one, that bag pretty. But, that's not all that's in here. I also have a um, script roller. And I'll put that all aside and make that pretty later. But, I have another one. And what's in here, this one also has stamps. It has my... Uh, roller with the dot, the bubbles. Love this one. And I have some more mixed media type stamps. Um, kind of abstract paint splatters and scripts. And um, yeah, way more stamps than I probably will need or use. But you know, that's life. I got this one, like that one. I had the space, so I filled it up. <laughs> okay, and and what really was was in this bag is my collection of da -da 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 -da, Kaiser Craft stamps. Love these. And they've got all kinds of patterns and shapes and scripts and alphas and dictionary texts and music notes and just about all kinds of goodness. Now, will I use all of these? Probably not. But is it fun to have them? Yes. Does it make me smile? Yes. And then, nah, if that's not enough, in here I have some cute little borders and and doo -doo 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 -doo. where'd it go where'd it go and my alpha set that I'm packing which reminds me I need to pack my um, my clear block for this one but that's what's in here and I'm not gonna sit there and make you watch me put everything away and so if that was not all I have one more ounce of goodness packed away in my bag. And I'm really upset with these oil pastels. are all over my carpet now. You can't really see them behind you, but ha oh, that's what's going on over there. Okay, so we're going to just put them up on this paper cloth. I have my stencils! Woo! Because they didn't really take up any space. Really, like, look at that. What is that, like, one milliliter of space? <laughs> and so I have... My Tim Holtz collection. I probably could just take this. Yeah, but that wouldn't be any fun. So I also have lots of other goodness in there. I mean, I've got a, I've got this thing so packed. Woo-wee. 
Now, what I'm really finding is fun are stencils that have a bunch of designs. Because, I mean, that's bang for your buck. So, if somebody were to say, Rachel, if you could only take three stencils, what would I take? I'd probably take the ones that, like these 6x6 uh, six six stencils that have the multiple patterns. <laughs> and, now, see, I should not have pulled it out because now I can't get that back in there. But, anyway, I just put this in a page protector. Got it in there good. And... I literally slide this on the side, takes up no space, but I have like lots of stencils. And that would be all that is in my travel bag. It is a lot, right? I know, right? Okay, but now you're probably going, but Rachel, where's your journal? Yeah, <laughs> my journal didn't actually fit in the bag, <laughs> but that's okay. I can just put it on the top and call it a day. So I'm going with a uh, Canson 7x10 inch uh, mixed media journal great size thickness of pages you know and a brand new one fresh start because I didn't have one this size the other ones I have are, are larger or smaller so I picked this one up um, for coupon all about the coupon right and when I come back from my trip I should be able to flip through this and show you some of the stuff that I've worked on using all of my my goodies I hope you have enjoyed the tour of my studio in a bag now I have the fun privilege of putting everything back in and trying to make it all work and look cute again. And uh, please subscribe and share this with your friends. And you could, I don't, I don't take offense if you put really look at this girl. She's got way too much packed. 